Hi kids, welcome back to this week's Backyard Stories and Science. We're gonna continue our study of the rainforest today and we're gonna learn a little bit about sloths. That's S-L-O-T-H, a sloth. Have you ever heard of a sloth before? Well, if you haven't, we'll learn a little bit about them right now. A sloth is a mammal or a type of animal and that a type of animal that lives in the rainforest. They move very, very slowly. Um, they sleep most of the day and they spend most of their time up in the rainforest trees. Um, another very interesting fact about sloths are that they move so slowly that a special type of algae that grows only in the rainforest grows on the sloth's fur. And it's great that the sloths are there so that this algae, this green plant-like substance can grow on them. But the algae is really great for the sloth because it helps hide the sloth from predators in the rainforest because the green color of the algae blends in with all the leaves and the trees of the rainforest. So the two work together, the algae and the sloths, so that life can flourish in the rainforest. So I'm gonna read you the book about sloths and then we'll move on to our art project. So this book is entitled My First Animal Library, Sloths. And there's, there's a picture of a sloth right there written by um, Bullfrog Books, Marie Shoup. Okay, life upside down. Did I mention that? Sloths hang upside down. That's gonna become important in our art project. The sun rises, a sloth sleeps upside down. Yep, that's comfortable for them, I guess. He hangs in a tree. He lives alone in the rainforest. His claws are like hooks. He holds on tight. Yeah, take a look at that. Look at those claws. They are like hooks. And that's how the sloth can hang from a tree so easily. And we're gonna, we're gonna um, draw those in our art project too. The sloth is hard to see. Algae lives in his hair. The tiny plants make his hair green. Yeah, algae is a type of plant and you can see its green coloring and how it's growing on the sloth's fur. Eagles look for him, but they can't find him. Shh, he's still, he is safe. The sun sets, it is night. The sloth wakes up. He is slow. He slowly eats leaves. He sips dew. Splash! The sloth swims in a river. Look, he finds a new tree. Up he goes. A new day is here. He tucks in his head. It's time to sleep. Okay, so that was a lot of information, I think, about sloths. They sleep most of the day. They move very slowly, which helps them stay safe. And they kind of blend in with the trees from the algae, the tiny plants that grow on his fur. Okay, so in your kit, you're gonna receive um, your tropical rainforest background. You're going to have a sloth cut out a couple of rainforest leaves, a couple of rainforest flowers, a branch, and a couple sentences of information. So the first thing we're gonna do is color in our sloth. Um, you don't have to color in your sloth green, but I wanted to because I think it's so interesting the way they turn greenish due to the algae. And I found sort of a, a muddyish green colored pencil to color my sloth in. This sloth, by the way, is, is holding its baby sloth. That's what's happening here. 
So you're gonna color in your sloth and your your mama sloth's face and your baby sloth's face face. And this cutout is meant to fold like this because our sloth is hanging upside down from the tree branch. So I'm also gonna color in this part of my sloth. And when I fold it, it should look like this. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my branch and I'm gonna glue my branch into my, I am running out of glue stick, but I'll make it, I'll make it work. That happens. Okay, so I'm gonna put my branch like this and then I'm gonna take my sloth, oh, and I wanna slip his, his one half of him under the branch because he's hanging on, okay? And then uh, I wanna glue him on a little bit. Okay, bear with me because I'm running out of glue stick. And then I wanna draw his wonderful claws that are like hooks, okay? He is hanging on easily because of those great claws. And I'm gonna give my baby sloth some claws too. Baby sloth is hanging on to mama sloth. Okay, and then you're gonna take your rainforest leaves. Maybe this will look a little better. And add some leaves to your rainforest. Mm, one like that, you're gonna keep going with that. And some colorful rainforest flowers. One right there. And one down here. And then I'm gonna add my information sheet. See if I can make this work. All right, I think I'll put it down here. I'm gonna add that. And there you're gonna have your rainforest sloth sleeping away the day in the rainforest, staying safe by moving really slowly and blending in with the green of the all the trees and the leaves. So I will be back next week and we'll continue to learn more about the rainforest.